boys. Woo! Hey everyone, welcome back to Yapaholics Anonymous. In this video, we're chasing a based railway across the province. We started off around noon at Portage Junction on this very overcast first day of May. Lots of stuff was going on. Trains on the CN main were pretty backed up due to some track work up and down the line. BNSF was working CN's Fort Rouge yard. And by the time we showed up, so was the CN 902, a loaded ballast train headed to Regina that had ES44 DC 2225 leading and a Dash 9 2547 trailing. Passing the train going the other way was CNZ100 with 2524 and 2624. After a little bit of waiting, the star of the day rolled past. I'm glad we made the decision to move to the other side of the yard. We thought the ballast train would just take off, but nope. RTC changed their mind about sending the train west, so they had to back the entire train up and tie back down. Now that's what I call a real CN move. Anyways, CNQ-102 had two unique CN-9s as the power, BC Rail 4649 leading and Canadian Cab 2504 trailing. We waited around at Transcona Yard for the train to depart on its journey to Toronto. We shot at the S-curve across Highway 15, which, uh, yeah, this this shot turned out like garbage. You guys like telephone poles? Because check this out. Look at, look at this telephone pole right here.
crossing pad was being repaired at a crossing just east of the highway crossing, so the train had a 10 mile per hour speed restriction on its way through the area. Here it is again, passing the fairly new P&H Dugald elevator, which replaced the company's 100 plus year old terminal elevator at CP's North Transcona yards. After shooting it again at Enola, we stopped at Vivian near the inspection portal, well, as close as we could legally get. This was my absolute favorite shot of the entire day. The reflection of the train speeding by off the water was awesome. We got ahead of the train again and heard over the radio that they'd been lying into a siding just east of Elma for nothing. There was no train coming at it for miles. I guess it was just to slow it down so that maintenance guys up the line could have time to clear out, but why didn't they just... Man, what a stupid railway. Alright, anyways, finally we ended the chase at the scenic Highway 44 overpass. It's a really nice spot, but blink and you'll miss it. It blends in really well with the surroundings when you're driving down the highway. The train was crawling along as it got the okay to roll through a foreman's work limits, and so the rest of the maintenance crew could get out of its way a few miles up the line.
On the way home, we stopped in Whitemouth on the CP Rail mainline, where train 118 with a Crazy 8's Jeevo and a now rare AC44 9618 led the train east out of the prairies and into the Canadian Shield. The train should have been through hours earlier, but the CP8060 that was leading at first crapped out near Oakbank, and 8888 came to the rescue. This clip is pretty short, but if you want some info on this new Lake Line GP35, check out my Instagram post on it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe for more mediocre train videos, as always. This is the Winnipeg Rail fan saying, like it or not, all of us are foamers. And that's okay. Bird. Bird, don't. We hey. Take it easy, bird. Hey. Take it easy. No. No. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, bird. <laughs>